Thanks so much for joining me on the Slice of Healthcare podcast. How are you today? Well, Jared, how are you? Good. I'm excited to have you back on. It's it's been uh, probably around a year, I would say, which it's been a crazy year. So yeah, it's been a crazy year, one to remember. I'm uh, I'm very excited to to learn more about your your newest venture that was recently announced, Recuro Health. But first, I'd love if you could tell the audience. Those that don't know you, which I, I don't think there's many at this point that don't know you, but there's always someone, right? If you give them a quick uh, snapshot of your background, then we can talk about Recuro Health. Okay, great. Well, um, I'm Michael Gordon. I'm, a, um, I'm first and foremost an adventurer and a serial entrepreneur. To me, they are almost the same. Being an adventurer, being a serial entrepreneur. All of you entrepreneurs out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so... Um, I think obviously the significant company um, that I built uh, with Dr. Brooks, um, we started it in 2002 was Teladoc. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely transformed our healthcare system in in a way that, that we wanted. And, um, and I've kind of stayed away from healthcare other than advising and being on boards. And um, when, uh, you know, the, the crazy thing is this virus has been so bad for so many reasons, but for healthcare, it's been extraordinary. And um, it's put a spotlight on what we do. It's put a spotlight on uh, capital for us to move our agendas forward. And, and um, you know, I, I, uh, about 14 months ago, I called John Halsey, who was kind of one of the architects at Teladoc. And I said, hey, I think there's an opportunity here. He agreed. And so we started working on uh, this company. We're and we just press released yesterday called Recuro Health. Yeah, so that that's my next question, right? What what is Recuro Health? Um, it, it you gave some description, obviously, in the press release, but I mm-hmm. want to hear it from the source. Uh, okay, and 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 I want to tell your audience that Jared is so fast and so good. Um, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of people that want to do stories, but um, man. You know, you got to me first thing, we got something scheduled. And so kudos to you and your organization for um, being um, (laughs) quick, uh, because, you you know, I'm I'm happy that uh, that we're getting to do this today. So, you know, I think, let me sort of, what did we do with Teladoc? Um, We uh, created a system where we could deliver physicians to patients in about 12 minutes um, for very low cost. That was all about efficiency. And that was on one side of the equation. The other side of the equation was the physicians, um, primary care doctors, what do they work? 60, 70, 80 hours a week. And they make about 140,000, $150,000 a year. So on the patient side, we got better delivery and, uh, and lower cost. And on, but on the physician side, we said, you know, you could work telemedicine 40 hours a week and make about $100,000 more. So that's that was you know the big things that we accomplished at Teladoc. So what's still missing um, is that our healthcare system is still not a healthcare system. It's a sick care system. It, it starts working when you get sick. And um, you know that's that sounds like just a sentence, but it ought to scare the blank out of anybody because basically people are not making money unless you're sick. And um, so we're inspiring the wrong thing. What we should be inspiring is ways to keep people healthy. And, um, you know, this starts with, okay, why has healthcare costs gone up every year for uh, as long as we can all remember? And um, why are we catching cancer at stage three? You know, why we have the technology to keep people um, healthy into their 80s and 90s and and hundreds, and we're not doing that. So, you know, how do we fix those things with the same kind of efficiency engine tools that we created with Teladoc? And that's what Recuro is all about. Love the name, by the way, too. I, I know that's that's just an extra, but I uh, I saw the name like they they got it right right out of the because some some companies don't, and then they have to be just you know obviously your company needs to be incredible to really stand out. But I'm a big I'm a big brand person, right? Like I loved I love the name Teladoc. I, I love the branding. Um, I love the same thing with Recuro Health. So uh, super excited. Yeah. Um, well, so let, let me let me just go off of that for just a second okay. because there's a really funny story about Teladoc. So 
um, right, right in uh, in Africa, um, in Kilimanjaro, I was climbing in and uh, a long time ago with Dr. Brooks, and he was saying, "We need to build this company, and we need to call it Cyber Medical Services." <laughs> that became Teladoc, and so you know the, um, the that uh, Dr. Brooks is a genius. You know the idea that that um, he inspired way back then. Um, was really great, but the name had to change and that became Teladoc, right? And so we did the same thing. We, you know, we played around with so many different kinds of names with Recuro. And um, uh, so I like the simplicity. Man, I'm glad you went with Teladoc. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, Dr. Brooks, no disrespect if you, if you, if you hear this. Um, yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's way better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what's, um, so can, can you tell us, so you recently, um, you know, I went to your page the other day, you started putting some information as far as the team that's working on it. Um, you already talked about your, yourself and, uh, was it Dr. Halsey, right? As one yep. of the, uh, architects at Teladoc with you. Um, can you tell us anyone else like about your advisory team, uh, other people sure. working on this? Sure. Um, and by the way, we can call John Halsey, Dr. Halsey, but he's not an MD. Um, but he's, oh. <laughs> he's smart enough to have a whatever he wants to have. <laughs> so, some university listening needs to give him um, the, the unhonorary PhD, but um, uh, but he's not Dr. Halsey yet. Uh, the um, in the people that know the history of telemedicine know the name Jay Sanders. Um, back in 1963, he created this idea, and, um, and you know I love telling the story because. 63, um, we started Teladoc in 2002. There really was no telemedicine. I mean, um, there was a correctional care facility that had about, uh, I don't know, 30, 40,000 um, inmates who were telemedicine patients. But until Teladoc, the, the idea was there, but the implementation didn't happen. And in the beginning, I called Jay Sanders and I said, hey, my name is this and I wanted, uh, and, and, you know, it didn't start off well. Now, when Jay Sanders calls me, um, uh, I'm pleased to say he calls me son. So he's the father of telemedicine and he's given me the title of son. And, and uh, Jay, is um, he's been working with us almost since day one. I called him right after um, I talked to John Halsey and, um, and, he, and he said, yeah, if you're doing it, I'm joining you. But do the math on this. He graduated from medical school in 1963. And, and, and so Jay is caught, uh, he's always telling me I'm 82 years old. So let's do this fast. <laughs> so, so um, Jay has been with us from the beginning. Um, another one is our PR firm, which is um, a group out of, uh, out of New Jersey called CPR. And the great story about CPR is that, um, in the early days of Teladoc, my marketing guy hired them. He left and I immediately pulled their contract because I wanted to fire them. And they, you know, I was stuck with them for six months and I went, okay, let's just live with it. In that six months, we did our initial press release on Teladoc. We were on 700 major news stories. So, you know, Good Morning America, Fox and Friends, every morning show you can imagine, every, every um, afternoon, uh, uh, finance show, uh, USA Today, the Wall Street Journal, everybody was doing stories on us. Some of them were good, a lot of them were bad because it was the early days of telemedicine. But um, so I, I called CPR and I told them what, I what we were going to be doing and they said, we're in. And so, um, and then, and then the, um, there's a lady named Michelle Del Carpio who, um, who built, who she was our original, um, IT architect, I asked her if she would come in and, and Shelly Lang, who was our um, uh, original documentation person. And so we've got some of these people coming in as consultants and, and um, we're starting to build a team right now. And um, it's, you know, my, my lead investor said, it's kind of like we're getting the old band together again, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of is. Yeah, no, I, I, you have some great bios too for anyone that's looking to, to learn more. I'll, I'll throw a, a link to your website. Um, mm -hmm. Although, uh, you know, the, the, the father of telemedicine, that's really, you put that, that line right there. That, that should be like mic drop, right? As far as a, a bio <laughs> goes. Um, I also, <laughs> it's funny that he, uh, he said, we got to go fast with this. 
Um, <laughs> it, it shows his a good sense of humor too. Um, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, that's... he's he. Um, Jay Sanders is a brilliant. I mean, at eighty-two, I want to be as clear-thinking and as healthy as he is. He's he's a really extraordinary individual, and I think people that know him probably will all agree. Yeah, I mean, and just think of, uh, just I mean, you, it, I, when you look at the team too, you kind of have people from like all different. Um, it, so you, you're you're bringing the old band back together, but it's not mm-hmm. it's not a uh, not everyone's the same age, right? Like there's there's mm-hmm. some differences there where you're going to be thinking differently about healthcare. People are at different stages of maybe their healthcare journey, which is what you talked about, right? Now, right. Um, it, it's great to hear everyone's healthy, and uh, yeah, I, I hope I'm I'm healthy and thinking as clearly I need to. Do. <laughs> um, what's uh, what are were you really excited about for next steps for the company? Now well, so our, our, our business model, Dr. Brooks and I had to build everything. Nothing existed. And what John and I decided early on was that just about everything we need is scattered in, in various stages of development around the United States. And so what we said was, let's see if we can't put together the capital to go in and find the best of the best and acquire them not acquire them like this is your big liquidity event M&A transaction, but acquire them kind of like that original US Olympics uh, dream team, uh, basketball team came together. Okay, let's go find the best of the best and say, join the dream team. Look at the vision that we have, help us change it and together we'll accelerate the pathway. And so that's what we're doing. And some people get it and some don't. Um, the ones that get it, uh, you know, if they have the right business model, then um, then it, it's worth bringing them in. And so what essentially what we did this um, this past week was we in that we did the press release on an oversubscribed round um, that we used to build the framework. Um, we brought in two companies and and um, uh, one of them is a the home delivery of uh, of labs. Um, in a very efficient system. And the other one I'm really proud of because I think, you know, when we talk about how do we create a baseline for everybody? How do we understand what works for the individual, not for the masses? Genomics is the way that's going to be done into the future. And, um, you know, the Cleveland Clinic uh, is the number two hospital in the world and arguably has the the most pristine genomics tool available and um we managed to to um bring that in as as part of our first round and so we have um uh, the cleveland clinics genomics tool and we have a home delivery of labs and so um in a few weeks um we're going to uh, bring in the next two companies uh, with our series a and um, i can't talk about those yet um, but they will tie together these first two pieces and um and so that's what we're doing right now is, is acquisitions. So you're, you're going to be announcing in the next couple of weeks, you're thinking an, another raise off of this. That's right. Yeah. Well, we, um, the, my lead investor is um, OLSF out of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And, um, you know, it's really interesting because um, there was a lot of East Coast, West Coast interest, um, but we managed to do almost all of this with smaller um smaller investors. Now it was a seed round, um, but uh, you know, at one point in the seed round, we, the, the goal was to raise 2 million. And at one point we had 5.5 million that wanted to come in. And so, you know, I've never been in a situation like this where we had to say, okay, you, you know, what money do we take and what money do we uh, push off to series A? And, um, but I've also never been in a situation where we were simultaneously working on seed and series A. And so, you know, see these bags under the eyes. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of um, long, long days, you know, putting these pieces together and, and, um, and, and making sure it all gets done right. So, um, you know, I'm the entrepreneur. So if you say, hey, Michael, you know, when do you want to close the series A? And I would say, well, next week. <laughs> but but um, my my investors will say, you know, it's 120 days. That's a standard. It's a standard term and it's a realistic term. I've been down the road enough to know that that's the way it's probably going to work. But we'll try and push it a, a little bit quicker. You know, when we get it done, it's done. 
and um, it could very well be um, much sooner than than 120 days because there's a lot of interest already. I think um, half of what we are going to raise is already committed to coming in. And you're saying a lot of what you're raising is going towards, as you as you worded it, right? Bringing in the dream team. That's where. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, I remember too. Like so, uh, for for the audience. Before, before this became a realization, I remember chatting with you on one or two occasions about like when this was the, the, like the inkling of this started, right? After we had like our first conversation, you were really starting to put some of these conversations together and you were talking right, about right. kind of what companies you were looking for. So it's really cool to hear the announcement, be able to talk with you today. And, um, you know, I really appreciate you sharing all this information and look forward to, you know, maybe having you or other members of the team on in the future, sure. where we can kind of dive into some of the other areas, especially as you keep uh, bringing, I love that phrase, bringing, uh, bringing in the dream team. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, thank you so much uh, again for being a guest. Uh, I look forward to seeing your continued success and all the best. Great. All right. Thanks, Jared.